Well, here is your introduction to the metric system. When I say the word metric system, most Americans at least go, oh, because we don't know much about the metric system. Pretty much every other country in the world uses the metric system for their measurements. They measure everything in the metric system. You live in some other country and you talk about how many kilometers or kilometers you're going to drive. Over here, we use miles. Well, we've got to learn this because in the medical field, most measurements are in the metric system. Now, years and years ago, there were all kinds of other measurements that were used. Those are pretty much gone by the wayside now. There are very few non-metric measurements. We will discuss those later, but almost everything is in metric. You have a syringe giving a shot. It's how many milliliters are there in there. You give a pill, a tablet, a capsule, you measure medicines. Uh, that way, it's how many milligrams or how many grams. It's a metric measurement. So we must understand, you must understand the metric system. Now what I've got is this chart here, and I'll explain this the further we go, partly in this section, partly in the next video lecture, explaining slowly and surely what the metric system is. The thing is, in America, we have all kinds of other measurements. We have measurements, well, for length. For example, we have inches, we have feet, we have yards, we have miles. If you're into horse racing, you talk about furlongs. You think, well, I know what most of those are except a furlong. You think, okay, how many inches are there in a foot? Well, there are 12. How many feet in a yard? Well, you probably know there are three. How many of you know how many yards there are in a mile? Mmm, you don't know that, do you? Uh-huh, 1,760. So a lot of these things we think, well, I know what they are. We, you know, we know an inch is like this and the foot's about like this. But doing conversions, they're really hard. Like how many feet are there in 15 and a half yards? Mmm, that doesn't come easily, does it? We also need measurements for weight. We have things like pounds, we have ounces, we have weights. If you live in England, you weigh things in stones. Yeah, my wife weighs 14 stones. Well, we know some of those things, you know, pounds and ounces. How many ounces are there in a pound? Well, you should know there are 16. Well, we know those things, but doing conversions in those are very difficult. Tell me how many ounces are there in three and a half pounds? <laughs> you don't know that, do you? You might can figure it out slowly and surely, but uh, that's hard to do. The metric system is much easier. We need some kind of measurement for liquid volume measurements. We have all kinds of stuff. We have teaspoons, we have tablespoons, we have cups, we have pints, we have quarts, we have gallons, we have bushels. And some of those are pretty tricky because there's, you know, two of these and one of these and there's three teaspoons and a tablespoon and oh my, all kinds, you know, four quarts in a gallon. So can you tell me how many uh, tablespoons there are in two and a half pints? Probably not. Can you tell me even how many pints there are in three and a half gallons? Mm, okay, I'm proving my point. The point is, those are hard to do. The metric system is much easier. So, because it is much simpler, it's less prone to mistakes, most of the medical field now has gone to, pretty much with rare exceptions, gone to the metric system. So we must learn what that means. Now, as I said, we're gonna slowly go through this chart now, I've got a chart included somewhere on these videos. It's not a video, it's just a piece of paper you can print out. Uh, but it has this very same thing. You need to commit this to memory. Now, I'm going to slowly and surely work my way through this. So, let's get down to what's going on here. In the metric system, we have three major measurements. We have ones for what one called meter. That's a length measurement. Now, having a mental image helps is not necessary, but it kind of helps sometimes. A meter is a little more than a yard, a little more than three feet long. Mark this, okay. A meter, okay, meter, length measurement. We have, oh, and the symbol for meter is a little m, lowercase m. With one exception, everything in the metric system is little letters, lowercase letters. I'll get to the exception shortly. That's meter. We also have grams. Gram is a weight measurement. That's the basic weight measurement in the metric system. Now again, this doesn't help maybe, but maybe it does. 
you get a nickel. A nickel weighs roughly five grams. So cut a nickel into five little pieces and one fifth of a nickel, that's about a gram. It's a small weight, but that's the main weight measurement in the metric system. And the symbol is a G. Now here's a problem. You are going to encounter in books, on other people writing things down wrong, your colleagues, even sometimes doctors who should know better, on a label from the pharmacy, sometimes they'll use the wrong symbols. You may see GM as gram. That's not right. You may see capital G. That's not right. You may see capital G, little m. Those are not right. Gram is this, a lowercase g. That's the symbol for gram. You will do it right every time. Liter, or if you, in some countries, especially British countries, they spell it L-I-T-R-E, but they, what do the British know? They can't speak English very well. So, liter, liter. Now, here's the deal. When you write liter, you will write a capital L. And any other symbol involving that liter will be a capital L. The reason should be very simple. If you write a little l, that looks like the number one. Now, for a long, long time, it was acceptable, it was okay, it was approved to write a little curly Q cursive looking l, but that's not really supposed to be done anymore. You may see that. Know it when you see it, but that's not really the proper symbol. The proper symbol is a capital L. So here we have the three basic measurements in the metric system. We have meter, a length measurement. We have gram, we have, that's a weight measurement. We have liter, the liquid volume measurement. Now you're still going, what's this weird looking stuff? I'll explain that further later, okay? But you need to get a piece of paper and write all this down or at least print the thing off that I have available in some other uh, one of these video lecture things. Print this off or write this down. You must, what I'm going to do next on the next video is discuss what all this means and we'll talk about it. You need to commit this to memory. You must have this memorized in order to do quiz two. You have to do it. So get this down, write this down first. We'll pick on the next lecture, pick this up later and see what's going on and what we have to do to make this all happen. What all this means. What does this mean? I'm glad you asked me. I'll explain it to you later.